This is a video response to Number Files Buffon's match trick for calculating pi. Instead, we're using toothpicks. 1,000 toothpicks to be exact. Now all we have to do is count the toothpicks that cross a red line and I better start counting. I'll pause this while I do this. This may take a while. Okay, we're back. As you can see, I've removed all the toothpicks that have crossed. So, um, we really don't need them here, so we're just going to push them to the side. Crossers. Non crossers. And, instead of counting them, I'm too lazy for that, why don't we weigh them instead? Okay, let's start weighing them. Be sure to zero out the scale. Let's switch to grams instead of ounces. Okay, of the ones that crossed, those weigh 38 grams. Now, let's weigh the others and see how much they weigh.
Okay, the ones that didn't cross came out to 103 grams. Break out the old calculator. One o three plus thirty eight divided by thirty eight equals three point seven one zero five. I'm a bit off there. Um, it's worth a try. Maybe we can count them and see what that comes out to. Okay, I've completed counting them and. I got I came up with 740 that didn't cross the line and 281 that did. So that gave me a total of 1021 matches. Hey, I got 21 extra. And uh 1021 divided by 281 comes out to 3.6334519573 still closer to pi but still a bit off now one thing I noticed while I was picking up the matches that crossed the line there the matches tended to pile up and as I would pick up matches the piles would kind of fall down and more would cross the line and sometimes I would pick one up and I would disturb it and others would fall off the line so I think part of my problem was that I was moving matches on and off the line as I was picking them out so maybe I'll try it next time with a larger piece of cardboard to kind of alleviate some of the um, piling and that might help some well thanks for watching and um, maybe I'll do some more math videos in the future thank you